you, we are starting uh, with a very interesting uh, session from a person who needs no further introduction. Uh, in the morning session, uh, basically uh, citizens first and how government agencies collaborate with cloud. And the key speaker is George Kuruvila, the chairman and managing director of Vessel. Uh, though George needs no further introduction, very briefly, uh, I would just like to mention for our audience uh, that George is an 87 batch Indian Broadcast Engineering Service Officer and an MTech in Digital Communication System from IIT Roorkee. He has served All India Radio, Doordarshan and Prasar Bharati for about 23 years and then he had joined Bepsil as General Manager and thereafter as full-time Director and he is now the CMD of Bessil. And as uh, many of you uh, would already be aware that uh, Bessil is a PSU under the Ministry of Information and Broadcasting. Uh, though they have been primarily working in broadcasting technology, but now they are leveraging a lot of new technologies like cloud, artificial intelligence and others for things like smart cities, security. Uh, so without any further ado, I would like to hand it over to George uh, for his session. Over to you, George, sir. Thank you. Good morning, everybody. And it's a great pleasure to join together in this session and to say a few words about our experience with being in the government uh, and what is the way forward and possibly how we can use cloud computing and cloud as a whole uh, for the efficient working of the government departments and uh, above all, how using the cloud we can take the service to the last mile to the citizens across the country. So keeping that in mind, uh, as uh, yesterday you might have heard uh, different uh, eminent speakers talking about it, cloud is an extremely uh, 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 important tool for the connectivity of our government collaboration between various departments and how a project can be executed and it can be scaled up and uh, it can, you know, the computing power that today we have in the cloud can be utilized in a manner that uh, for each department, particularly the small departments who cannot afford their own data center, they can use this cloud facility to get the best of the uh, efficiencies that uh, our technology can offer and can use this uh, for the uh, collaborative activities they have or to reaching to the last mile. <clears throat> Definitely moving to the cloud, uh, each department in the government uh, has to look around the cost benefit analysis, uh, looking at, you know, what it will cost and for their organization for the particular kind of activity, whether it is giving value to them or not keeping those few things cost benefit analysis, they can take a decision, you know, to migrate to the cloud. And so when we are thinking of using the cloud, very important to know what, are, what, is, the, what is the agency that we are using? Uh, with whom are we collaborating? What are their credentials? Is it a secure cloud or not? These are few questions uh, that uh, we need to take or we need to answer or we need to think about before we start getting into the cloud. So, uh, so you, as you might have already you know, heard, uh, most of you who would have attended sessions yesterday, uh, it is very important that uh, a cloud providing agency need to have you know, those industry standards. It has the level of scalability, uh, scalability that we require and flexibility required uh, for our projects that we do with them. Uh, very important and most important is where is their data center housed? So whenever as Bessel, we look at um, any cloud-based solution, uh, this is one of the first conditions that put before them. Where is your data center? And very important that data center is housed in India and uh, we put the proper layers of security around the data center to the data that we are housing there in the data center. And in uh, more important uh, uh, Government of India projects, particularly the defense and national security related area, it is very important that now we are building up data center on premise or at Bessel or at any secure government building so that we make sure that this data of national importance 
is not leaked or shared anywhere to the hands of those people who are not uh, required to have them. So with this in mind, uh, it's a, a very powerful tool uh, today uh, as a cloud that we can really utilize this uh, cloud to uh, be very efficient and to provide the services uh, to the government of India, various departments, and also uh, to the last citizen uh, of our country. Uh, talking about uh, the usage of cloud for broadcasting, as we come from the broadcast in, in the industry, um, nowadays the entire media industry, the television and the radio, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the uh, production of uh, the programs, or whether it is news or the other uh, entertainment program or education program. Now, uh, it is uh, very important to use a, a collaborative form of production. For example, I was in Doodashan for several years, and uh, we know that uh, there is a certain program produced in Delhi, but that can be utilized by a team in Hyderabad or uh, you know in Chennai or in any, any other part of the country. But while using that content, we need to use the language localization, the subtitling, and the voiceover has to be done uh, in the local language, you know, to make the content more acceptable or, you know, to reach to the last mile in their respective states. Uh, how can that be done? So as a traditional method, you send the feed from one place to another through satellite or through fiber from one station to another, then somebody will work. But now using the cloud, my graphic artist can be sitting anywhere in the world. You know, so, uh, you know, a person who, uh, you know, captures the, uh, you know, the, the content uh, to the person who is editing uh, the content and somebody who is putting the graphics to the content, somebody who's adding the voiceover to the content, they can actually be sitting in different parts of the world and in the country. And they can put and work collaboratively uh, you know, around the content that we have and can do their part of it. And finally, we have got the finished product. Uh, such a powerful uh, tool, the cloud, cloud computing can be that uh, in a very short time, you can produce that content using a collaborative manner of, uh, you know, contribution to the, from the various uh, experts or technical areas or, or graphic people or voiceover people and have a final product in a very short time. This uh, is the need of the art today. We cannot have a content, you know, which is having the value today to be, you know, telecast three days or four days later or two days later. It has to be done when the value of the content is there. Um, so it is uh, particularly for the news channel. It is uh, uh, so important that who breaks it first, who brings it out to the world first uh, and how quickly that is, you know, uh, communicated to the right people. Uh, whether in the government or to the citizens of the people, uh, very important that a quick communication is done. And for such a quick communication, it's very important to have uh, usage of the cloud for a collaborative work uh, flow of the entire production, both in radio and television. Another area that we find is uh, presently, say, we have got around 86 locations uh, where we have got FM transmitters, you know, a private FM transmitter, and there is the common transmission infrastructure that we have built across the country. And uh, there we store the content for 90 days as part of the government mandate as per the Cable TV Network uh, Regulation Act, uh, that it is mandatory to save the content in case of any complaints, to look at it and to take the action by the uh, uh, you know, authoritative body of the Ministry of Information and Broadcasting. Um, so. To have those 86 location earlier as a traditional method, um, you know, we would, if there is a complaint, you know, we will send out a person who is the nearest person uh, to the particular, uh, you know, common transmission infrastructure in that city and to take out the content in a pen drive and, uh, you know, come back and then, you know, transmit it to the headquarter, to the committee, uh, and then place it before the committee that looks into it. Uh, now with the, uh, the the availability of the cloud, uh, we have developed our own cloud uh, you know based solution so that once we have got a internet connectivity in each of these 86 uh, locations, which we are now nearly complete with 
all the you know connections in all the 86 locations uh, we are uploading the entire data onto the cloud so sitting here in delhi or in any other city uh, we can you know monitor download on a you know id based or authorized person can download it view the content put in his comments that you know whether they are following the broadcast and advertisement codes or not or is there any, anything that need to be checked or monitored or you know be informed to the right people in the government so such kind of collaboration is possible because now today we have got a cloud computing uh, you know ability or the cloud uh, the you know the, the cloud uh, providers are available uh, today uh, so it saves so much of time uh, today you know it gives so much of power to us it can happen in a very quick and efficient manner you know through the to the through the right efficient people are sitting across in different part of the country or the world this is something amazing which the cloud is offering today so these are a few examples i am giving but actually in every project today uh, we are using uh, you know the cloud based uh, computing and cloud services uh, for example you know presently we are as while i am talking uh, the panchayati elections are going on in the state of bihar and this is the first of its kind in the country that we were called and i was called to uh, patna you know if we can do something about uh, you know biometric biometric based uh, voter uh, authentication process uh, if we can put it across and use it you know for uh, save the or to you know stop the bogus voting uh, across the state and so it is a it, it is a huge task you know going into nearly one lakh ten thousand booths across the country in 11 different phases so approximately approximately around 10 to twelve thousand booths every uh you know every uh, polling day like today the polling is going on in more than uh, more than ten thousand places uh, to reach out to those places have an Aadhaar based authentication to connect all these, you know, to an MIS, which is centrally located. We are using a uh, cloud-based uh, service and cloud computing. Now that helps the cloud to connect, you know, to and give the MIS report to the all the election officials of the election commission, the state election commission, to the district, uh, you know, magistrates uh, across the places to monitor what is the updated data and everything is going on well. Uh, where we are using the cloud, there we are using the cloud. So there can be, you know, n number of such examples that I can give, but because of the shortage of time with the limited time that we have, I would, uh, for, you know, uh, would like to stop here as a broadcast engineering company, not only broadcasting, but uh, being today a converged world today that broadcasting, communication and IT, it is a converged world where we can use the technologies available in all these area to you know bring out the services and in the entire ecosystem of uh, broadcasting communication and IT cloud today is playing a very important role so I would uh, encourage uh, different government departments and officers those who are connected uh, in agencies let us work towards uh, connecting the country using the cloud services yet in a secure manner and yet in a in a you know scalable manner uh, that is what uh, today we need to do, and this will help uh, reaching the services to the last mile in the coming days and uh, make this country a place as uh, per the Prime Minister's deem uh, for digital India, a connected India that can deliver the services to the citizens of the country in the most efficient manner. Let us work together to build or to, uh, you know, to fulfill uh, the dream of our Honorable Prime Minister uh, to reach out to the country using this technology. Thank you very much. Uh, thanks, George, sir. So, uh, primarily, <coughs> the two, three main important areas you mentioned about that one, uh, how uh, cloud services is being used in the broadcasting services. First important is to check the credentials of your cloud providing agency in terms of the standards they follow, their scalability, flexibility, uh, the location of their data centers and security. Uh, then for uh, broadcast uh, production, uh, there is a need of a collaborative production mode to be followed and the subsequent localization can be done using the cloud services. 
Uh, we got examples of the 86 FM transmission centers, which have their own cloud-based solution and where the cloud computing ability is giving them that collaborative production power. We heard the example of how the Bihar Panchayat election, uh, the cloud is being leveraged. Uh, so uh, thanks uh, for a very enlightening session. And I'm sure the 200 plus uh, live audience who have been there uh, will uh, be more inspired and they will be uh, more eager now to adopt cloud in their organization uh, in terms of different application. So thanks a lot to uh, George sir, again. And uh, it's a pleasure on behalf of APAC News Network.